hey everyone welcome back uh, to lecture 4 of this series of python for oil and gas uh, in the last video we have discussed about uh, escape sequences one thing i want to mention here is even if you have some doubts uh, in these previous two three or four lectures is uh, please don't get demotivated with time with as as you proceed as we proceed with these uh, lecture series i'm i'm sure you will understand all the uh, doubts very soon so just uh, stay tuned and uh, yes today we'll be learning about variables so let's start the videos so uh, we use computers right in computer uh, we use uh, folders but each folder is doing a folder is storing a value a folder is storing a huge amount of files so similar is the function of variables variable is uh, used to store a data and hence it makes our work easier for example in simple in mathematics also we make use of variables let's say i have a which have the value of 5 and i have another variable b that have the value of 7 right so now when i print a and when i print b it will uh, print down the values of a and b that is 5 and 7 so we can also uh, make mathematical operations using this variable let's say i want to add two numbers so what i can do is print a plus b right and we can also multiply or subtract like that so uh, these variables make our work easier this is just an example uh, but in cases let's say we have a huge amount of numbers let's say a 10 digit number so it is better to use a variable instead of writing uh, a 10 digit number again and again right now in python we can also update the value of variables let's say here we have a equals to 5 b equals to 7 uh, but now i want to change the value of a and b let's say now my a becomes 9 and b becomes 5 8 9 7 like any value so if now i print a instead of 5 it will now become 9 right and if i print b instead of 7 it will give me the new value of b so this is how uh, variables can be updated in python uh, also it is not necessary that uh, we just we just need to store uh, integer type values or uh, numerical values in uh, variables we can store any data type for example uh, let's say i have a variable name c and i want to store 2.56 that is a float value and a variable d in which uh, i have stored a complex value that is 3 plus uh, 9j right so uh, if now i want print c plus d it is functioning right right so it is not necessary that we just uh, input as integer values in there we can also go for a uh, string value in my variables uh, just let's say example i have a variable name uh, e uh, and i have a value of uh, let's say my name is divyansh so if i print e it will print down my name that is divyansh so uh, this is how a variable works this is how we we, uh, we create variables but there are specific set of rules uh, for variable names that is variable always start with a letter or an underscore the first rule is that variable always start with a letter or an underscore so let's say if i start also abc is fine abc is fine as a variable name because it is starting with a letter and if i let's say i give it the value of any random random string okay if abc is random if i execute it no errors it means it is right if i also go for underscore abc and i say any random value if i execute this it is also showing me no error so it is also correct but if i if i if i go and start the variable name with the uh, with the um, numeric value let's say one abc if i have that uh, anything again random if i execute this shift plus enter it will show me an error so because it is not following the rule it is not following the first rule that variable name also always starts with a letter or an underscore now let's come on to the second rule that is variable name only contains alphabet numerical values and underscore so if we have anything apart from these three things that is alphabet a numerical value and underscore it will give me an error 
so let's say my first rule is being followed if i'm starting the underscore and anything i'm typing but after that i input this as so this is also fine let's say uh, random like that anything this will not give me an error because it is following in the both of the rules that is first and second but as soon as i give it bh23 i add a new uh, character that is dollar sign and uh, give it a new any value let's say i uh, give it 59 this will show me error because the second rule is not being followed now let's see the third variable name uh, never starts with a number uh, i've already shown you that in this case we tried to start a variable name uh, with a number and it showed me error and variable names are case sensitive for example let's say i have a variable name var it has the value of 15 right and i have a, another variable that is capital v a r that is it has the value of uh, 60. so if i print v a r it will give me 15 if i print capital v a r it will give me a 60. so although both are v a r but it is a case sensitive as i have also told you earlier so these will give me a different value sets also so again i can do any kind of mathematical operations with these variables let's say where plus v a r it will give me the value of 75. all right so uh, this is a uh, very basic things about pi uh, about variables which i needed to tell you in the next video uh, we'll be discussing about string concatenation uh, concatenation is nothing but uh, means addition of more than one string addition of more than two or two or more than two strings how can we add multiple strings and make a sentence so that is what is known as a string concatenation thank you for watching this video uh, i'll see you in the next lecture thank you